So far, the uh, focus has been on running compression tests. Uh, today, I want to do a wide open throttle crank compression test, a more traditional test. Um, that can be done with a mechanical gauge, it usually is. Uh, I want to do it using the pressure sensor and the oscilloscope. I want to discuss uh, some of the advantages that there may be in doing that. Of course, in doing a, a wide open throttle crank compression test, the check valve must be present. The whole idea behind that is that this additional uh, volume of this hose on the tester is added to the volume at top dead center. It dilutes uh, that volume, if you will. So with uh, having the check valve present with each successive crank in the test, the pressure is maintained and then built up to the next level on the next crank until this additional volume uh, of the test kit is no longer a factor. So I'll set this up and uh, I'll crank the engine and uh, you guys keep an eye on what goes on with the H-scope uh, recording function of the automotive uh, module. I think that one of the first advantages that you have out of using uh, H-scope and the automotive uh, module uh, built into it with its, uh, you know, two or three minutes of recording time is that you can do this wide open throttle uh, crank compression test alone. You don't need a partner to do this. Um, you can start the recording mode. It gives you enough time to walk out to the car, give it, you know, 10 cranks or so then uh, come back to the uh, tablet. A second advantage is that uh, you end up with a profile of what happened. The multiple uh, compression stages uh, that took place and I'm going to zoom into that profile. You can see its location on the bottom of the screen here but uh, I'll move into it. And if I zoom that, so now we can see the multiple steps that took place in reaching that compression. And um, I can apply a cursor here. And I get two and a half volts. And with the use of the uh, chart that I printed, uh, two and a half volts is right in the middle. It's uh, of that 300 PSI and it's uh, 150 PSI. This can be saved for a future comparison to other cylinders. That's another advantage over using the mechanical gauge. So I think there's uh, quite a few advantages uh, going the electronic way. Uh, not that I'm totally opposed to just using the mechanical gauge, but especially if you're alone and you have to uh, run back and forth, I think um, H-scope with all that uh, recording time is a very nice uh, factor here. Talk to you guys later.